uh, as well as based as based on some feedback in the last meeting, as well as some communication I had with Maxwell um, and the rest of the team uh, and you, Kevin, um, I've revised some of these, well, all of the sliders that we had to pursue more of a, to find a good balance between the, like the, the background noise of a slider image, but then also still communicating the message that we're looking for. Um, to that end, I've kind of moved away from images like entirely and going more for patterns. Given this is a revised version of the one that I sent you yesterday, I added the GitLab logo as well. I couldn't find the logo for the other one that you requested, which... Uh, Garrett. Garrett, yeah. So, you know, with that in mind, I have a, a couple of spaces that would love to take it, but I couldn't find one that looked mm -hmm. right. Um. I think that the contrast might want to be pulled a little bit so that text can be overlaid that has a very clear like hierarchy of one mm -hmm. over all of the um, the social networking stuff, but that can be done on the site and we can that way everything can be done you know within accessibility bounds on the website itself. So this is the version with um, the top layer with the contrast of one. Uh, next one, this is, oops. oh, real good. Matt, you weren't here, uh, was it, uh, four, it might've been four weeks ago when we initially, two weeks ago. was it two weeks ago? Two when weeks. We, okay. Uh, so this, this slider here would be for the, uh, uh, metrics and models, I believe. Yes. Yeah. So we wanted to show um, logos of chaos interacting with and connecting with uh, several of the different platforms that we analyze for providing metrics. Uh, there is an alternate version of this that only uses a monocolor, uh, mm -hmm. which could also work for either color blindness, accessibility, or other things like that. And I can pull that up in a little bit. So what is this? This logo is for which one? I'm sorry. This, this is, is the, the metrics and models slider. So gotcha. uh, this one, this one will take us to the metrics, metrics uh, knowledge, knowledge base. Okay. Yep. Right. So there will be text overlaid on top of this and also uh, some, some navigation elements. Uh, okay. You're going to want, let's say a few things. One, we need the auger logo. Yep, we do need the auger logo in here. Where, where I've been looking, I've been in the um, Grimoire Labs channel, like looking for vector I mean, assets. I will send you the auger logo. Right, that would be home. great. Thank you. And then, are you like, have you Django? Have you double checked that you're following the brand guidelines for the external use of logos like Twitter and GitHub? Yes, so that's why things like the Discord is spaced the right amount from each of the circles. Okay. Um, most of their brand guidelines, especially for Twitter and Slack, govern the use of their logo next to text, um, which okay. these are not being used in the use case of like next to text. Okay. Okay. So you have checked. I'm just thank you for checking. Yep. Out. Yeah. So all of these were pulled directly from their branding, like press kits. So I was able to, you know, check with them when they were, or check on the sites themselves when I was okay. grabbing them. Yeah, they, they all seem to have it published pretty clearly, like how to use their logo externally. And then what's the logo above Twitter? The one that you're pointing to right that's now? That's Mattermost. Oh, okay. Um, that's another like chat. Like Slack. Yeah, yeah, no, I, yeah, I just guess I didn't know the logo. <laughs> all right. Uh -oh. Where is that? Uh, I was thinking maybe an email logo might be nice too. Maybe like send mail. Okay. Sorry, I'm trying to find the logo. No, no worries. I have it here somewhere. Huh. While while you're working on that, if anyone else has any other notes on this, I can move on to the next slide. 
here. Yeah, go ahead. Great. Oops. So this is the revised version of the uh, Metro style. Like you are here for the newcomers and contributor handbook slider. Um, this one requires a bit more <clears throat> um, interfacing with the text. And so that's the one thing that I wanted to address during this meeting um, that at least partially it'll have a, a block built in that looks like a subway sign. And so then if we want to, if we still want to add the text in WordPress, I'll make sure that it's large enough that it can allow for that. I, I really like this a lot. Um, I just like the look of it. And it made me think, can you go back to the one that you showed prior? Yeah. Like, I like the other one, the subway one, just how it's kind of white, like a totally white background. Let so me, I, let me grab an earlier version of that doesn't this, have the fuzzy of this stuff one that doesn't have all the fuzzy stuff in the background because I have one of those as well. And that is because that was actually kind of one of I think like my complaints on that the one with all the dots. There's just so much. There's so much going on. Like the original logo, mm -hmm. just so much busyness going on. I love the cleanliness of the subway one. Sure. Um, okay. I wonder if we could make that. Uh... That chaos logo, logo, make that the clickable button as well. That would be very cool. Um, so this is the this is a version that has this is the one that I showed to Kevin yesterday. It has a little bit less um, chaos mm -hmm. in it, um, and so I, I can also export one with a much thicker stroke line here, or actually much thicker connection lines, and then fully get rid of the fuzz in the background. I think in that case you might run into a point where there needs to be a specific area built into the social network or social network web that allows for text to be placed there All right so i would assume that the text is going to be left justified and probably towards the top or center top to center okay uh, and so if, if we move the if we move the blurry bits from the back, and then we would need to add what at least two more nodes, one for auger, one for maybe send mail. Mm -hmm. And then with the idea that the text is going to be left justified and maybe in the, the top to center. Yes, does that make sense for everyone? uh not really but i'm sure it makes i'm sure it's a good suggestion <laughs> it, it, it means it means we'll leave space in this area for text to be added in wordpress okay. itself I so we just just subtly just subtly move those nodes so that we're not completely blocking grimoire lab or yep yeah. absolutely these are and this and this one will also have grimoire lab on it like this is an older version this is again the version i showed kevin yesterday and he was like we should put more lab on there and he was right yeah could you also like i think the chaos logo should be the biggest logo sure i don't know if what the actual sizes are between the grimoire lab one the github one and the chaos one but they look similar they're in the same size circle so i can make the okay. chaos logo one that is larger yeah like like in a biggest circle i would yeah that would be good because that's right. kind of the the ring to room all kind of thing so great so yeah if if we're going to turn that chaos logo into a button is there any any other design element we would need to do with it uh i think that any button assets in wordpress would just be overlaid over it mm -hmm. so i can make a version that has the the chaos logo on it and then i can make a version that has no chaos logo with a space so that a chaos logo vector asset can be overlaid over it that has a clickable feature okay that sounds cool So 
So with that in mind, there we go. Oh. This is the, the Metro version. Um, and I'm assuming this would be made into a clickable button so that you can click that and away you go. Um, yeah, I like the I like the nice big thick clean lines. Uh, yeah, I really like this one a lot. Sweet. I think we can consider that a, a final version unless anyone has any specific tweaks they'd like. I like it. Fantastic. Well, now the last ones. These um, were based on the pattern that I liked a lot from uh, Maxwell's work. And so this was for, this was a, a new proposal entirely for the first slider. So this leaves space for text up top with the chaos um, logo highlighted as one of these with the proper colors. But I wanna check and make sure that this is still kosher within Linux Foundation's representation of our logo. I think so. Yeah, the, the, white, the white O is allowed. Okay. Yeah. Um, and this this can be done in any of the colors, um, without you know without problem. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, and the the color choice on that, I would I would like to hear what uh, Lemma has to say about that. Yeah. And did, did I pronounce your name right? Yeah, I don't know. But am I on the call? Uh, let me um, Yeah, we're asking about the color for this one. The your your I think your your choice on or your um feedback on the color for this particular slider. Awesome. Can you hear me, please? Yeah. Okay. Um, you want to cycle through the colors again? Thank you. Lima, I can't really hear you. Instead of purple. Oh? Yeah, we couldn't hear you for a sec. So maybe you want to repeat. Yeah, I think probably you might type the response. <laughs> because then I think the the color would blend with this is for the first slider, right? Yeah. yeah. So it will blend. I think Belema put in the one with the blue background. I think it would be I think it should blend with the home page too. Right. Yeah, this one looks calm. <laughs> calm is good. Yeah, yeah, Victoria, yeah. you can. Yeah, for sure, Victoria. The the, the blue the blue one. Okay, Victoria. so. Yep, I like that one too. Go ahead, Victoria. Okay, so I was thinking instead of going totally on pre friends, since we are um, trying to work on accessibility, right, we should look for a color that settles well with uh, maybe when we are done with the accessibility testing of um, the screen, right? I mean, all the colors look good, right? But which one is most settling to the eye for um, anyone or mostly people that have eye defects? So that's what I think. Yeah, we could we could grab this image and just drop it in a uh, a color uh, colorblind application real quick to see what it how it renders. Sure. Uh, Let me just do that real quick. <laughs> Uh, 
All right, I'm on. No. All right, so I'm, I'm just checking the blue one first. Um, so it looks like even with, I'm using this one, by the way, this is the- Can you share your screen again? Oh, certainly, yeah. That would be so much easier, wouldn't it? So, um, this is our normal view right now. Um, and then looking at it with um, most existing versions of color blindness, we still have enough contrast to make the composition visible. Um, I think all then, of the all of those different views are are still pretty pleasing. I think so. Um, and then the other thing to be to check would be when we overlay text to see where it sits on the contrast with the background, because the background might need to be reduced in contrast a little bit so that text overlaid still hits a double A AA or triple A WCAG guideline. Awesome. My least favorite, just so you know, my least favorite was the the purple one because I thought the purple against the purple in the logo didn't look very good. I I agree that one kind of um, that was the last thing I did before <laughs> coming into this meeting, and I'm not okay. I'm not a big fan of it. Okay. Excellent. Well, I'm, I'm I'm pretty happy. I think we have. Two that are that are firm, and that that third one we're just waiting on a few minor changes. So Fantastic, right? yeah. Okay, hey, could you, uh, uh, Elizabeth wasn't able to make this meeting. Could you send her uh, those three that we kind of landed on uh, separately? Just let her know these are the three we landed on. Oh, certainly, yeah. Um, I'll send her. I'll send her the two that we've selected right now, and then mm -hmm. I'll send her the updated version of the last one once I get all of the assets in there and it all looks in a way that I like. Okay, excellent. Great. Okay, shall we move on to uh, what's the next uh, updated logo for chapters? Yeah, I put that there. Um, Maxwell couldn't make it to the meeting, so I'm kind of presenting that. So we, I think we talked a bit about that in the last meeting. Um, but okay. we, I think, um, can you see my screen? Uh huh. So I think we talked about that a little bit in the last meeting where we had the Chaos Africa logo was different. Mm -hmm. um and so uh maxwell kind of like updated it um matt I, th I think you are aware of the change right matt, change? I am, like we um we had like the change the major changes we had with the logo and oh, the map yeah yeah i was yeah I, so, I, rem I remember that conversation yeah, so we, we wanted it to like sync with the Chaos Asia logo and not have like different things that also in future not have any problems. So we are syncing with Agreed. The, <laughs> yeah, so we are syncing with the Chaos Asia logo. So it's going to be like this. And then Maxwell kind of did like stickers. Uh, stickers just I very really like that. That's cool. Now, uh, we were still going to create the, uh, the, the African content image as well, separately, to use as a kind of a separate asset. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. Maxwell is still like working on that. Just okay. as like the, um, the 
Yeah, that, that's something we can put on stickers too, or use in addition to the uh, the Chaos Africa logo. Mm -hmm. uh, but they would be they're kind of separate entities that could be used together or separately. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I'll also give that feedback to Maxwell as well. Then, does anyone have any input before I go to the next? I think those look great. Mm -hmm. Joya, does it look good? Yeah, it looks good to me, and I will bring this logo to the Asia Pacific community. Okay, great, thanks. So the other thing is the, so I think I've shown this area, I don't know, I can't remember, the swags, um, Maxwell kind of like did some swag mock-ups. Trying to load this. It's loading up. So uh, yeah. So this um the speaker tags are like for chaos con, and then these are like swag ideas, uh -huh. uh, branded swags. Awesome. I like it. Actually, I'm just I'm about ready to put in an order for, for some <laughs> stuff. And so I I can can you share this with me? Yeah, sure. I wonder if we could incorporate some of those images that uh that uh that we just looked at as well from the sliders. Okay, like which of them? Which of them? Um maybe the actually the 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 social network one might be might be nice. Mm -hmm. like okay. the uh yeah. the, the metrics models one that has the, the different uh logos in it okay. that'd be kind of that'd be cool on a on a coffee mug or something yeah, i yeah, can send an asset over to matt i mean not matt i can send an asset over to maxwell for that yeah i think django you can send it, the assets to maxwell to to make some other ones one of the things that i really like that i've seen like a couple times today is so like Django, you did it with the the um, subway one, and then the mugs that I'm looking at right there. And Ruth, if you scroll up to the bags right there, mm -hmm. like the use of the colors with these kind of different image, like some are circles, <laughs> some are these like kind of like oblong lines, summer subway lines. I, I like that, how the colors are kind of being used uh, for these different shapes. I think that, that looks nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really like the bug one too. Yeah, I, I really like that. I, I, I really, I like the looks of that. Yeah, so um, these are the two main updates. I think Max is working on like the banners for Chaos Con, so maybe subsequently the next meeting. Um, I think one conversation that Elizabeth is not here. I think something I was asking Elizabeth was about um printing swags for Chaos Con, maybe one of these swags maybe not everything but one of these swags so she was i think Elizabeth wanted to was going to confirm from you how that would work that's that's me so i have a a group here that does this stuff and so it would be nice if i could have this pdf because i could just share that with them and okay. say i just i just want like you know these things and then i have to order them in bulk you know, not bulk, but like more than 50 or something like that. Um, mm -hmm. it, it takes a little while. I don't think I would have them ready for Chaos Con. Mm -hmm. I just, okay. But I would have them ready. I think we're planning on doing something at FOSDEM okay. in Brussels, which would be in, you know, February. January. Yeah, February. And they could definitely be ready by then. Okay. I, I think I'll get Maxwell to also get, get me like the assets and not just the PDF. Okay, and just send send that to me. That would be really helpful. 
could be that great. So I think I think that's all for that. Does anyone have any feedback? I, I think it looks good. I would just uh yeah if, if uh if we can send the 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 new images we have as assets over to uh Maxwell. Yeah. Uh, I think that would be yeah. cool. So I'd love yeah. to see the I'd love to see the subway that that subway style art on some of the stuff and I'd love to see some of the that social network stuff on there as well. The subway stuff absolutely would will work great. Um, I'm a little concerned about the social network just from a legal reproducibility standpoint because it's uh -huh. one thing to use these graphics and logos on a site that is free to access and public use. Okay. However, to reproduce them for sale might run into some legal issues that are beyond the scope of fair use. How about you send it without the logos in it so it's just the nodes? That can absolutely be done. So. Okay, shall we move on to the, is the knowledge base up next? Yeah, okay, I think the websites, I think okay. I had some, had done some pages on the websites. Um, yeah, so I think Belma had there working on the other pages. Uh -huh. I don't know how to use Figma very well. But I'm not try to destroy anything. So I think this is the about page. Let me just zoom in. Yeah, so this is the about page. Um, I think what we have been seeing before now was the home page. So this is the about page. Um, and I don't know, Belma, which is is the history page different from the about page or oh, that same thing? Okay, um, the history. Hello? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you now. Hello, can you hear me? Okay, um, the history page is different from the about page. So the about page is the one right here, like the one here, it's your post, or uh, then the next one is like the history page. Okay, so they are both different pages. Okay. How do I show them by page? Okay, okay. Um, you just play, play the design, like just check by the left, uh, just play it. Okay. Like the panel button by your left. Uh -huh. Yeah, I think I think I did I think. Okay, so um why is it showing like this? So this is the home page um that we're working on and the new pages are this is not clicking. Okay. And this is the um about um, okay. If can you hear me? Yes, I can. Really? Yeah, I can hear okay, you. Okay, go down, just go down. You see numbers. Yeah. Go down, you see numbers below. Okay, this is the second like, page. Yeah, you see from I'll make it to the like the next page. Okay. I think I'm here now, right? This is the about page. So yeah, let's, I'm scrolling through. This is the part for chaos goals. I think each of the goals will be here, right, Selema? Um, yeah, the goals, each of the goals will fit in these boxes. Yes, yes. Okay, and then who we are spreading chaos. So um I, I think we can get started with this page, what folks think about this particular page. 
Uh, so one note I would say on this is the that the top uh, the navigation header. I think we're going to go black for the entire website on that. Is that correct? I know that's the uh, so for the uh, uh, for the main page we're going black. So I think it probably makes sense to maintain that black across all of the uh, all of the the web pages. Uh, otherwise, uh, in general, I like I like the I like the design. I like the use of colors. Uh, I think it's going to match well with the front page. Uh, the content that's in there doesn't uh, doesn't quite align with what's what we have mapped out currently, uh, but that's okay uh, because enough of it does. Uh, I'm uh, I'm getting ready to. Uh, I'm going to start making changes on the website now that the uh, now that the sliders are done. Uh, mm -hmm. I am going to go ahead and and make those changes on the on the home page uh, to uh, incorporate the uh, the the design ideas that uh, that we've already kind of looked at for that home page, uh, and then shortly after that. Uh, We'll start. Uh, we'll start building out these pages. So I, I think I think this looks uh, pretty good. Uh, I think uh, it's it's more of a uh, kind of a. Uh, there's not enough specific content in here, so it's not going to be a one to one. The the content that's in there isn't going to match one to one when we build this page. But I think from an inspiration standpoint, this looks this looks very good, and I think this is the. We try to make this look, look these pages look like this. Uh, so uh, I would ask, uh, do you have any uh, experience with uh, Malema? Do you have any experience with WordPress? Um, I've tried using it once, but uh, apart from that, I don't really have much experience with it. Okay. Is that something you'd like to? Is it something you'd like to do? Because if if you'd like, I can include you in these uh, in the changes on the website, uh, and we can, we can take a peek at that together if you'd like. Uh, yeah. I'm not so. I really want to actually, but. I've been busy with other things, so I've not really um, had time to. Um, I think Belema, you are breaking a lot. Mm -hmm. I couldn't hear it. But if you wanna, if you wanna send me a message in the Slack channel and and let me know what you're thinking, that would be great. Uh, and can we? Could we move on to uh, an update yeah, from Yash? Know. Would that be okay? Yeah, sure. I think um, Belema will just connect with you on Slack because I think we are running out of time already. Last time we entered the value working group meeting. <laughs> yeah, so basically in the knowledge base section, I think we have a concrete idea now that we want to create basically three knowledge bases and you know, one basically focusing for newcomers on how can they contribute one related to the community handbook and about chaos and the other one focusing on metrics and metric models so basically uh, i think the main idea was that the sliders would have links pointing to these knowledge bases other than that we were also thinking of having a global knowledge base like you know uh, all the information that is in these knowledge base uh, in these knowledge bases, we could have one globally that look, this is all the information that we have in our knowledge bases. But other than that, we are sort of looking to separate it out into three sub knowledge bases. And so basically the design for, you know, uh, the root page for each sub knowledge base would be in such a way that you have the title, then you have a short description about what this knowledge base is all about. And then you have a search bar, or or you know, searching through the articles to the knowledge base. And then you have some information modules on how the user should proceed. 
and basically in the end you have the subdivisions of like what further divisions are there in this knowledge base basically like how you can contribute so you can contribute in design you can contribute in development you can contribute to documentation and how this contribution can be done so yeah this is the main idea that we have been focusing on and the thing that uh, we have been able to achieve is uh, all this content is getting pulled from github repositories so that makes it easy to change and i did do a pr for that uh, in the website repo so we do have some structure for it now so the so basically the ever the the knowledge base landing page for each of these three kind of knowledge base paths that we're creating in addition to having a searchable knowledge base and sorting information by topic area, we're, we'll also have some content areas that we can highlight, right? So this is the, the most important information that we want newcomers to have, right? So right now we have the, the content that's there is, it's the, the quick start for guide for newcomers. Uh, and then there's a second piece of content, which is community guidelines. Right, so these these two content areas may change, and we'll we'll pro we'll we'll design them to uh, whatever the yeah. whatever we think the most important thing are. So, but right now they're they're just kind of placeholders. Yep. So, but the uh, the quick start guide for newcomers is probably a good one to keep, actually. So. Yeah, we can sort of just move this content. I think it was there in the community handbook. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It was from the community base. Yeah, this was the file that we were pulling from. Other than that, uh, in this about chaos and uh, you know the one that's about the community, I was sort of thinking that we could pull from these folders about community initiatives. And I don't think we need resources. We may need governance. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's what I was thinking. And in metrics and metrics models, we basically want to uh, incorporate the metrics. We'll have them by topic areas, I guess. Kevin, I think you have been working on pushing that. Yeah, Matt, Matt and I have been uh, working on the uh, those context areas, which on the, on the website, those context areas will actually be topic areas. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a short update. Any feedback on that? Uh, I did run into some issues, but I don't want to go too deep uh, in this meeting. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe we can schedule a separate meet and discuss it. Yeah. Uh, these are some a couple of WordPress bugs that I found. Okay. Uh, yeah. Next next week when we I think we have an individual meeting scheduled on uh, yeah. Wednesday. Uh, I'll, I'll share that with the other mentors as well. Uh, yeah, we can we can go into the specifics. Yeah, that would be great. So then, Kevin, for the <clears throat> metrics and metrics models. So mm -hmm. for each of the metrics, the once we kind of land on the context tags, those will go right into the markdown file. Is that correct? The that, context tags will. Yeah. Yeah, I think that was the the idea is that okay. it would be. Uh, yeah, underneath the question, we'll just, just have, put them right in there. It's basically no like keywords at the top of the document. No problem. And then for metrics models, mm -hmm. <clears throat> I mean, we also have a markdown file, slightly different um, template. And then do you um, do you want those somewhere that's easiest for you to get them? Or is it okay if they just sit in the metrics model repo? Because it's a slightly different repository structure because we have implementation components with it sometimes. If we could add them to the uh, the template kind of the same way we're thinking about metrics, that would be the best. Okay. Uh, and then the uh, uh, so this the uh, the knowledge base as it stands really we've only really thought about incorporating the metrics model document the one that uh, 
you know, we, we haven't thought about what the implementations would look like on the website yet. Uh, and I'm not sure we want to. No, I think one of the things that has kind of come up in, with respect to metrics models is we just have the markdown file that basically describes the metric model and you know gives that case study around a potential implementation as to how somebody might understand it. Um, and then on the template itself, provide a link. Just here's a link to the GitHub repo. If you want to go get the Jupyter Notebooks that actually or yeah, use to deploy this, then go over there and get them. That's perfect. Yep, yeah. I like the I like the way the uh, I like the way that template is uh, the model template is coming together. So okay. okay, it took a little while to get there. Oh, it took uh, a long time to get there. We bounced around for a long, long time. Uh, but I uh, I do like that. So okay, uh, that sounds good. To kudos me. to you on that. So oh, thank you. Were... <laughs> All right, cool. Thank you. That that makes. And then we'll, that that's helpful to me. Thanks. Uh, okay. And uh, one of the one of the nice things about that the way that knowledge base is kind of coming together is I think it matches very closely to kind of the the page style that uh, that Malema has been uh, been showing us. So I think that it'll be very easy for us to incorporate those design elements into into. Uh, uh, the knowledge base as well. So, okay. So uh, I will say once I start making changes to the website, it's all going to happen pretty fast. Uh, I've been holding off on making some of these changes because a lot of them are kind of universal across uh, the entire website. Like when I when I change the the navigation header to the black, that's going to happen across the entire website. Uh, so I wanted to make sure that we we at least had the uh, the home page set. Uh, so, so that is my last question then like on the agenda like the timeline do you have a, a we can start making those changes now and uh anyone okay. uh i asked i asked Valema specifically if she wanted to help and she i will said, yeah. wait to hear her response she said, yeah she said yeah, okay uh and anyone else who who would like to help uh with that i can uh i can let them in as well we just we'll just have a meeting and i'll i'll kind of we can talk about how to do some of the stuff that uh, I think we, we've talked about it in the past. The the way we manage our, our WordPress site is probably pretty unique. <laughs> so uh, there's some there's some stuff I need to show you. But uh, but after that, we're, we're good to go. Well, and I think it's a good idea to like if Belema can join you or whomever else is interested, because then we have more people that know its uniqueness than just yeah. you. <laughs> Agreed. OK, cool. Uh, so if you if you are interested, uh, just reach out to me in Slack, uh, and then we'll we'll have a meeting where we, we kind of go through it. Uh, okay, uh, is there we're running out of time? Do you, do we is there we want to handle the community handbook stuff real quick? Is there anything? Yeah, to do? I think, yeah. The last 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 thing. Um, Jan and I kind of put together that folder structure and wanted to. Um, share it with. I think Joya, did you share it in the community meeting this week? I wasn't there. It's oh, not. oh, I didn't attend uh, the community meeting too. But I, I have put the link in the meeting, uh, meeting minutes, and um, I uh, structure the. I I put the overall structure in the, uh, in the issue where we uh, track the where we track how the uh, handbook structure. Um, and um, I already saw, uh, I saw that Matt had, had left some comments and um, yeah, it's just, we want to, uh, we, we would like to have more uh, feedback from the com community regarding the overall structure um, to make it more navigable for the newcomers and um, yeah. So we did talk about it in the community meeting. So it was on the agenda. So we did talk about it. Uh, the it was difficult for uh, being. Uh, it was difficult for the uh, the people in the community meeting to uh, to kind of jump into it immediately. Uh, so what they what they kind of landed on was that they're uh, they have kind of a homework assignment. They're going to go and peek at some other. Uh, projects 
to see what their handbook structures look like. And they're going to uh, they're going to find some of the the handbook structures that they the ones that they like and and kind of send them to you as an example as a as a form of feedback. Uh, do you think that'll be helpful? Yeah, that's cool. Okay, and then the yeah. the the general the general feedback that that I have is that those those folders need to be really they really need to be explicit about what is in there. Uh, so I would, uh, I know generally, you know, folder names that are just like one word or more attractive. Uh, but if we're, if we're trying to be explicit, it might be, it might be helpful to, to name those folders very explicitly. Like this is what this is, even if it means having, you know, three or four word names for these folders. And then, and then maybe we can, we can reduce them in length, uh, later i don't know if that is that helpful so the and the one uh the one that i had uh so the there's a resources folder and i forget what that one's called yeah community resources so i i like that folder we i think we have to have that folder and i think we have to have that folder separate from from some of the other folders, but I, the naming of that folder, I think I'd like it to be even more explicit than it is, if that's if that's possible. Uh, do you have some suggestions or, or examples? Uh, let me I, let me think about that. Uh, Because that one's the uh, so it so it includes the templates. It includes images. Yes. Uh, what else does it include? Uh, like we have some um, terminologies, um, and uh, we might put some of the logo designs, uh, the logos, and some mm -hmm. of the design elements. Yeah, and assets. Okay. Yeah. So it's it's basically the assets, right? So these yeah. are, uh, I'm wondering if, if terminology, terminology doesn't necessarily fit as an asset. Uh, terminology might be better in the, uh, in one of the how to contribute folders. Uh, but yes, the, uh, a style guide might fit. I don't know. Let me uh, uh, let me. I'll think about it uh, a little bit more. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, and and um, um, yeah. I just want to uh, say that any thoughts or feedback can, um, can can you can just. Yeah, we could. I'm sorry, you broke up on my end. Yeah, I think Jaya broke up, but I think the feedback can go in the in the issue, the issue that we have, um, the issue links to it too. In the issue or in the uh, the Google Doc, which would you prefer? I think the issue would be preferable so that other other folks can also put in their thoughts as well. But that Google Doc is kind of like very scattered right now. Yes. So okay. Do you have a separate, do you have a community handbook meeting that you're going to have a separate one that just focuses on community handbook? Yeah, we, we do have like Joy and I, maybe the next one we could invite you. Like a, like a working meeting? Yeah, it's a working meeting, but it's quite early. Um, like for Joy, like for you, it's quite early for you. Mm -hmm. But we could, I don't know if we could work on a time maybe what do you mean by quite early like like 6 a.m your time okay uh, i can i can do that if you need me to okay i think we'll connect on slack then okay uh with that i would say we probably need to let this go because the common working group meeting is going to uh 
uh, pop in here at any minute. <laughs> so thank you all. I think this was a super productive meeting, uh, and I, I love the I love the the direction we're going and how it's all starting to come together. Uh, so uh, thank you all for your your hard work and your your patience with me. So it's it's appreciated. So I will uh, I will see you all later. Yeah, sure. Bye, everyone. Bye bye. Are you just staying on, Kevin? Yeah. Okay. You know, is there an, is there an Augo, Augur logo, logo without text in it? I don't think I've ever seen one. No, I think it always is that like funnel with Augur mm -hmm. coming out of the like the side of it. Is that a that's a funnel? I always thought it was an eye. It is. <laughs> something, some <laughs> something. <laughs> I thought it was kind of, I thought it was an eye and it's always kind of freaked me out a little bit. Uh, all right, I, I reached out to uh to Sean. Uh, I don't I don't know if yeah. so Elizabeth is moving her so Dawn is not here cuz she's on vacation in Ohio mm -hmm. seeing family. Uh, Elizabeth is moving her son into Bowling Green. Yeah. Today. So he this is move in day up in up near Toledo and then Sean is in Madison moving his her daughter into I think she's going to grad school at Madison. yeah PhD in English apparently is that what she's doing yeah yeah so um, there's I'm like actually, a lot of college move in today <laughs> yeah uh I think I'm going to talk to Sean later today on the phone so I can get a yes or no on that so we just wanted to the the uh, the birds of a feather for CZ, CZI. Yeah, uh, we wanted to, to get that sorted out real quick. So okay, so I, th I think we're just for chat. a logo and try to ask him for one that doesn't have the text. Yeah, yeah. I I actually yeah. I, I sent him an email asking about that. Uh, little, I can I can envision what that would look like. Uh, it needs to fit in the circle. Yeah, yep. Yeah, that's what uh that's what Django is wanting. So okay, uh, I'm really happy with the. Uh, uh the stuff he put together um, oh no kidding actually i just yeah. i did send him a message oh we're recording here i'm gonna stop this